I was diagnosed with um, chronic anxiety in, in July 2006. That was to use to do my exam for the Open University Health and Social Care. I have Parkinson's in my DNA but, DNA, but I do not have a diagnosis, so I can't claim Parkinson's as a, a, as a disability. So then I had the first nervous breakdown working at King's College. After the death of my, my, my 2008, I had the first nervous breakdown. My brother, 56 years old, colon cancer, yes. And there's a pattern that every time there's a bereavement, the cycle returns. So when my mother died, I died in uh, 2014 with dementia, they made allegations. And then I tried to um to counteract that, and that's how I had the second nervous breakdown. I was referred for for I had counseling at the malls. I had twelve sessions, and then I done the mental health research, and where I am at now, yeah. And because I because I'm raising concerns, raising concerns. My GP just um recently um. Said they're taking me off the daily, so I, I don't know if I have a GP and NHS England is involved. And because I, I raised concerns about the, the neglect of my husband when I went and saw him um, falling out of bed. Yeah, I put in a report to PALS. The person responsible is Gail Lewis and my husband has been dead now since April and still waiting to hear from Paul. So how much can one person take? And every time I put, I, I, I raise something, they reject it. So I need somebody now to help me. Because I'm, I'm over the limit. Grenfell report just came out. I averted a Grenfell Tower here. It's the constant kicking of my door, the verbal abuse. I cannot talk in here. It's getting to me. I have no one. I'm on my own.